So the internet makes it hard for us sometimes to choose the right mouse. Most of the time because people are so clicky. <laughs> so choose the best mice for yourself. This is part three of our series on mouse ergonomics and this video is gonna be helping you choose the best mouse for yourself to prevent wrist pain and injuries with 1HP's official optimal mouse fit calculator. It's also gonna feature some measurements of the most popular mice out currently and some sample hand measurements to showcase how certain hand sizes fit to some mice. Let's go. As we mentioned in the previous two videos, the most important part of choosing a mouse is fitting the mouse to the size of your hand. This will minimize excessive physical stress on the hand while you are gaming. So how do we fit the mouse to your hands? We have to first establish some key measurements to take on so we can use the 1HP Optimal Mouse Fit Calculator to determine how well the mouse you like fits to your hand. Our calculator features two methods of measurement. One is a little more simple while the other is more complex. Here are the measurements of the hand that you will need to use the calculator. Palm height and this starts at the base of the pinky and thumb muscles and extends to the top of the middle knuckle. Palm width, this covers the horizontal distance from the pinky knuckle to the index knuckle. And now here are some key measurements for the mouse. The mouse height, which is of course how tall the mouse is at its peak height. The mouse width, how wide the mouse is. And the mouse depth or length, the length of the mouse going through the midline. With these measurements, we can calculate ratios which represent an optimal hand to mouse fitting, minimizing biomechanical stress on the muscles of the hand. The ratios we present aim to achieve the optimal fit. Optimal fit meaning considering the distal transverse arch, the palm should cover up laterally or side to side up to the point of the pinky muscle group. And this allows us to utilize the pinky muscles for mouse control and minimize overuse from being over shortened. As I mentioned before, if a mouse is too small, you're gonna have to utilize more of your pinky muscles to pick up and move the mouse. And if the mouse is too large, you're gonna have to use muscles in your forearm to grasp or hold the mouse with every action. Again, optimal fit also means that the knuckle arch will also match the peak mouse height of the mouse chosen. And utilizing this calculator to select your mouse based on the optimal ratio means that if you choose a mouse, regardless of what grip you use, claw, fingertip, or palm, there will be less stress per mouse action than if you chose a mouse outside of the suggested ratio range. Again, our goal was to provide this calculator to provide an optimal fit, but realize it covers just a majority of hand shapes and sizes along with grip styles. There are always exceptions. So let's present these optimal ratios for the simple and the complex calculation. For the simple calculation, the ratio should be between 1.8 and 2.15, with two being sort of the golden ratio. If you fall within this range, you have found a good mouse for your hand. If you fall out of the range, then you should consider maybe getting something that will fit your hand a little better. For the complex calculation, you should be aiming for between 1.2 to 1.6, with 1.4 as sort of the ideal or golden ratio. Okay, so here are my hand palm measurements. My palm height is 90 millimeters. My palm width is 80 millimeters. We also have Elliot's hand measurements. His palm height is 95 millimeters and his palm width is 100 millimeters. Let's see how we do with the different mice. Okay, let's see here. So with my palm measurements, I'm at 90. And then I have 80 width. And I'm using the G Pro right now. So the mouse length is 125 millimeters. The mouse width is... 62.15 millimeters and the mouse height is 38.2 so that gives me a 1.85 which is in the ratio range and then there's also the complex calculation for height and width and I meet the ranges for both of those so it's good let's see if Elliot does well with it so he's 95 here and he is 100 here so he's a little outside of the range for his the simple calculation. Definitely for the height, he's okay. Uh, but 
for the width calculation, he's slightly outside of the range. So G Pro might not be that great of a fit for Elliot. Let's look at some other popular mice. So if we look at the ultralight Cape Town, the height is 116, the width is 53 centimeters, and the height is 35.7. So it falls slightly outside of the range. This wouldn't work as well for me for both calculations, really. Um, well, actually, for the complex calculation, it allows me to potentially use it and it slightly falls out of the range for the simple calculation. So this could work for me and I would lean towards using the complex calculation because that's slightly more accurate as it uses the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, what about... All right, what about Elliot? How would he fare with the ultralight Cape Town? He's at 95 and 100. So his hands would be a little too big for this. Definitely a little too big. Um, his height might be okay, but for both calculations, he's, he's pretty far off. All right, what about the final mouse, Air 58? The length of that mouse is 128. The width of that mouse is 60, and the height is uh, 40. I definitely meet the criteria for the simple calculation and then slightly fall out of the range for the height ratio. So my arch would probably dip a little lower, closer to the top or peak height of the mouse. What about Elliot? He's at 95 and 100. He is slightly outside of the range for the simple, but definitely within the range for the complex. So he can use the final mouse Air 58. All right, let's look into the Model O. The Model O is also 128. The mouse width is 59 and the mouse height is 37.5. So for me, I would definitely be able to use this. I fit into the range for both. Let's look at Elliot and would he be able to use it? He would not. It's a little too small for him because of his wide hands. Sorry, Elliot. Can't use the Model O. Okay, so what about the Zowie FK1? I already input the values here. The length is 128. The width is 68. And the height is 38. So for me, um, the simple calculation doesn't allow me to use it. But the complex calculation, it's pretty close. It's a pretty wide mouse. So with my palm width, it really cuts it close to allow me to use it with more optimal biomechanics. Let's take a look at for Elliot with his wider hands. He actually fits in the ratios for both, so this is a better mouse fit for him. Now, how about as a last one, we look at the Viper Ultimate by Razer. The width is, or the length, is 129.3. The width is... 58.5 and then the height is 37.5 so it was the same thing so for Elliot he would somewhat be able to use it it kind of falls outside of the range definitely height is okay for him but for the complex uh, width ratio he kind of falls outside of it because he does have wider hands uh, because he does have wider hands than most so for me I am here. So I would be able to use this. Definitely falls within the range because my hand is better. I can fit more mice. <laughs> okay, so that's it guys. Hope our community uses this to make better decisions about finding a mouse that fits for your hands. And remember to consider the weight, the DPI, the shape, the binds, the sensitivity, if you have any wrist pain, but make sure the fit works for you. Use this calculator. And never forget the big three, optimizing your posture and ergonomics, making sure your wrists are conditioned, and also monitoring or managing your schedule or volume of play to make sure that you prevent or manage any injuries. So try the calculator. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this across subreddits, please, guys. Uh, I want this to be utilized more commonly so we can better fit our hands to the mice that we are comfortable with or 
that we enjoy using. And also just share this with anyone you feel like it might be beneficial for. Let me know in the comments how you guys do with your ratios and look out for better content in the future. Adios.